welcome back to the channel guys and in today's video we are going to start with a team that really is targeted towards countering those melmetals and excadrills which are very common this season and i think that with this team composition if you are also having some troubles with these two pokemon uh, this team is really decent enough and before we start with the team composition and the battles if you are new to the channel and if you like our content don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and if you are already already subscribed to the channel big thanks to all of you if you want to join the battle set discord server the link to that is in the description down below so moving on to the team composition the team which we are using today consists of dialga in the lead which i really like to run and uh, followed by groudon and kyogre in the back which both of which are very decent answers to uh to melmetals and excadrills but since it's specifically targeted towards that this makes uh, the team really weak to dragon types in the back but and I, I would suggest if you decide to run this team if you're fed up with these two poke those two pokemons you can run dragon tail groudon because that really gives you coverage up against something like uh, like the opposing dragon type something like uh, uh, dragonite or say for instance giratina in the back and if you look at the pv poke rating uh, just i think in master league you don't really uh, i think it's it's decent enough that you will find a lot of bulky pokemons and you will be able to make uh, decent teams but uh, one thing is that that i'm running Sh shiny kyogre and this could have been my first shando but unfortunately it just just missed by one hp sorry one uh one defense point but yeah still waiting for that shiny uh shiny hundo and i, I just i hope that uh, i get one uh i start with a shiny mewtwo uh, or a shundo mewtwo because i'm looking for a hundo mewtwo as well so so yeah all in all i think this team is pretty decent uh the only change that i would like to do if i uh, if i have to i would run dragon tail crowd on instead of much shot and without further delays let's start with the battles and see how the battle goes so picking up a dialga mirror match and whenever i am in a dialga mirror i tend to see uh, the opponent's cp and uh, this one is higher than mine so this may be a 15 15 and that's a best buddy as well so there is a high chance that my dialga will lose to it so uh and getting a bit of lag which is always nice uh so not a bit of lag but but a lot of lag and uh uh i think i decide at the last minute to shield and uh the shield but yeah some something terrible happens and yeah uh, the opponent's dialga power through my shield somehow and uh take the damage uh and did the damage but now i have to uh come in with crowd on and uh look to much shot down and get ahead on energy this allows uh this allows their uh, dialga to get to an iron head and i think in the hindsight that may have been a good decision but since we are ahead on energy but then comes mewtwo so this is this is probably good maybe they are running something weak to uh weak to crowd on in the back so i went straight away for a quick and uh, go for switch over to Kyogre just to do some uh, waterfall damage before Mute is able to reach high strike but for unfortunately Mute is able to uh, get to that and still they did not show about maybe uh, or yeah they it makes sense they are running a right period in the back so uh, so yeah I, I think uh, the uh, the lag really didn't matter since they have a uh, pokemon really weak to kyogre and groudon and this is the reason that i uh, that specifically this team is designed for to tackle those ground ground types and ground or steel types in the back so uh, kyogre i think is a pretty fitting response to all of those pokemons and yeah good games moving on to the next one picking up in ho o lead so this lead is neutral, pretty pretty neutral, but you do need to watch out for uh, for earthquake. Earth, earthquake will definitely one shot you, and uh, they are charging. They have charged up to an earthquake, so I definitely would want to shield. And they go for a brave bird instead, which is quite surprising to me. And hence I went for uh, this Sirenet since they have deep up themselves. And uh, Ho Oh cannot stack two moves. And now since their defense was lowered, I swap into Kyogre, which was probably a very big mistake. I really should not have done that. Uh, they go for a earthquake surprisingly and now they come in with lugia so that's still uh, i think that's still good because um we will be able to th that way our crowd on uh gets to avoid this lugia and we do have a uh, dialga in the back a uh, fairly healthy dialga in the back and kyogre will will just chip with those surfs and those waterfalls maybe they uh yeah they definitely will be able to farm us down and uh, lugia will be at uh at an aeroblast so this will not be a very good situation if they uh if they go for an aeroblast and now shields down i think uh ho, -Ho performs really well when whenever the shields are down so 
I, I was still in two minds on whether to use uh, the shield or not, but they they have a Giratina in the back, so that was that was a good shield in the hindsight. And uh, Giratina need to throw energy, and at this range, they uh, only Shadow Ball will KO. I think Common Spin will not. Uh, so they go for a Shadow Ball, recognizing that, and they KO us, uh, KO our Dialga, and they come in with Groudon, and I come in with Groudon, and they do a very good sack swap. I mean, that that probably uh, won them the game of uh, this sack swap. I think. Uh, I think yeah, that was that was pretty amazing, and the game is pretty much over. Um, I I don't think Shadow Ball KOs at this range, but maybe a combination of Shadow Ball and Ominous Wind does, uh, or not. We are able to get to this earthquake, but yeah, again, really good job on that sack so from uh, from the opponent, really well played, and um, and yeah, uh, GGs. Moving on to the next one, picking up a positive lead in the form of the Giratina this time, and this swap into. Uh, uh, they swap into Mewtwo and that's why I come in with Kyogre because Kyogre even though it's not doing a lot of damage with the Surfs uh, but it will uh, do a decent amount of damage with those water I, I mean along with the waterfall damage it does add up so we are able to throw this Surf and at this point I really want to maintain the switch advantage hence I would uh, I would invest a shield as well if needed to um, so they go for a charge move and I, I, I shield as expected and at this point uh, the Kyogre should be able to uh, waterfall down the Mewtwo which is exactly what it does uh mewtwo is a uh, mutual did not shield this which is quite surprising um so they will come in with crowd uh they will come in with giratina and farmers down so if they have something like excadrill or melmetal in the bag i think it's uh uh, the, the game is pretty much set uh, but if there is something like a Lugia it's going to be bad um, so they go for uh, this most probably will be a shadow ball uh, so they go for a shadow ball and not expecting them to bail into uh, so it, there is a excadrill like, indeed in the back so this is uh, this is looking good for us because they need to land three drill runs I think in order to take us out whereas uh, much more damage is adding up and eventually we will be able to outpace it to fire punches uh, or not I, I think it takes five uh, to get to a drill run so uh, so did not shield this uh, so i'm okay with letting go of the uh groudon at this moment so groudon goes down and uh, now i can come in with uh, as you saw that i didn't throw the charge move because i didn't want giratina to get uh, to get an extra farm and i need to call out uh uh the shadow ball bait um so let's see most likely it's going to be an ominous wind which it is uh and they get a boost as well which of which was quite critical but we are able to get to the dragon uh we are able to dragon bread down before they get to a charge move so yeah good game again moving on to the next one picking up a melmet lane and i swap into uh kyogre and they come in with the zekrom which which was quite surprising i mean um I haven't seen Zekrom, uh, Zekrom for a while now in this season, so it, it was it was quite surprising. And they go for a wild charge with deep uh, deep of their defense uh, by two stages. And now I can go for the surf, and I think uh, with the defense deep of the surf will do a lot of damage. So going for back to back surfs, and let's see if the opponent decide to double shield their Zekrom or not. So they uh, they don't shield this one, but still it did a massive amount of damage. They are able to get to a last minute charge move, and now I uh, double shield because I don't want that Dialga. Uh, I, I don't want Melmetals to see the Dialga. And Kyogre is fairly still fairly healthy, and I think we will be able to get to. Uh, if we get to a serve, that will be best. But uh, yeah, we are able to get to this serve. So let's see what the opponent decides to do. So they uh, they do a no shield, but they will be able to f uh, farm a lot of energy of our Kyogre. And now I come in with Groudon. So expecting this to be a superpower, maybe. Um, yeah. So they go for a superpower, and which Groudon can take it easy. And in comes Kyogre. So this is looking quite good for us. And uh, unless they are running Blizzard, because Blizzard I think will uh, will KO Dialga at that range. So. So if they are running blizzard it's probably gg for us uh, but if not let's see what happens so definitely i think they'll be going for blizzard if they have one so so yeah they go for a blizzard and i and uh, groudon is not that healthy that it can it, uh, i mean groudon doesn't have a lot of energy to get to an earthquake fairly quickly and uh, the waterfall damage add, added up and we they'll be able to just superpower us uh, and take that game so so yeah good good energy management from uh, from the opponents and and recognizing that kyogre will be able to take out the dialga with the blizzard if the shields are down so moving on to the next one picking up another 
another negative lead and this time i swap into groudon and in comes their kyogre so the groudon can still win this matchup provided they you are able to land an earthquake so let's see if the opponent decides to shield uh yes the opponent decides decides to shield and uh, unfortunately uh, fortunately we are able to get to another earthquake so let's see if the opponent double shields their kyogre or not uh, the opponent does not shield this time and uh, kyogre survives with barely en some energy i think i i was using a a best worried groudon and that groudon really is able to take that matchup with a after landing an earthquake and few match shots so the opponent has retained the switch advantage and they'll be able to chip the dialga down with those serves so not particularly in a good good situation to be honest and let's see what the opponent has in the back so uh, i swap into kyogre and they have a giratina in the back so this is not particularly good we would need to land this blizzard in order to in order to take this thing out but if we do it's going to be it's going to be really good so we are able able to shield the shadow ball correctly and i'm going straight for the blizzard maybe that was a mistake i should have gone for um, um i should have gone for a surf bait uh, because i i am not getting to another blizzard anyway uh, but still there is a vencon here that i now need to preserve shield for dialga and um, and hope that i'm able to drag and breath uh, that this thing down so uh, they get a very decent farm off for kyogre which is which is not good maybe they undercharged uh, the shadow ball and uh, they go for another shadow ball and my only win gone probably my only win gone was to uh, was if opponent waits and i was able to catch that but uh, that did not happen and uh, it is what it is uh, so we were not able to uh, counter those leads uh, counter those mel metal and uh, excadrill in the lead but still i think it was uh, i i think that's why i said that you really need dragon tail on your crowd on if uh, if you want to make some work of this team because otherwise something like as you saw get it in a wallless in the back so so yeah i hope you like this video uh, but i still i feel like kyogre is a very strong pick if you want to uh, counter those um, bell metals and